First time at Lidl or maybe first time grocery shopping in Poland? Come with me to Lidl and I will share some useful tips that I did not know before. Maybe you don't know as well. I will show how to apply discounts, where to look for super prices and how not to get a fine for a free parking. And of course, we'll walk through the store, see the prices, do grocery shopping. And in the end, I will show you what did I buy and how much did I spend. And this is the amount I usually spend at Lidl every week. If you arrive by car, Lidl provides one and a half hours of free parking for visitors, but only if you get a ticket. I have already arrived to the parking at Lidl. This is the sign at the parking saying that in case you don't have a free ticket, you will need to pay 95 Polish water as a fine for not having this free ticket. So better take it. A few times I personally saw those guys who are checking whether you have the tickets or not. So basically they arrive. They walk through the parking and they see if there is a parking uh, ticket here below the windshield in the car. And if there is no, they make a photo and probably uh, it will turn into a fine. So in order to avoid that, let's go get a ticket. Here is the parkomat where you need to get the ticket and see it says that for the clients of Lidl, they do offer one and a half hours of uh, free parking and you need to press this button to get the ticket. So here we have this button. Now it says that they do print the ticket. Here is the ticket. So you can see 8.37 is the time when I parked and I do have time before 10.07. This is Konyat Parkovanya. This will be the end of this free ticket. And as you can see, it's zero Polish Zwarech. There are a few types of shopping carts at Lidl. Large one and a small one and you need a coin for that. But what if you don't have a coin? Easy. Just go to the cashier and ask for jeton. This is how they call it in Polish language. They will give you a plastic jeton that you can use as a coin or instead of a coin for the shopping cart. If you go shopping with a baby, most likely you would like to get this little cute shopping cart. No coins needed. Just take it. These shopping carts can be found either on the parking or maybe in front of the entrance. But there is another type of the shopping cart, the blue one. It is always within the supermarket and visitors are not allowed to take it out, even to a parking. You will see it right away after you enter the store and no coins needed. Before shopping, do remember to get a membership at Lidl and download the application. Why do you need an application? Within the application, you can also mark which store is closer to you and which store you go to usually. So you can see different discounts that are now active in the shop. These are the coupons with a discount. Here you may activate as many codes as you want, but very important, remember to activate it. If you know that you're going to take cucumbers and there is a cucumber discount here at the coupon, press Activuj to activate it. Otherwise, it won't work. So after that, I do scan my uh, membership card at the cashier and this is how all the discounts and coupons are applied. Useful information? Really hope so. Now, let's go shopping. We enter the shop and promotion of watermelon is just here, so I took one. Also, I take a glove for shopping at the pastry section because there are so many donuts, buns, bread, different types. And of course, my favorite one. Yes, this one. No, no, no. Go back. Yeah, here. Chocolate croissant. I try to eat once a day. Sometimes more. There is an option to cut the bread and in my personal opinion, it is super convenient. But remember not to take a warm bread because if you start cutting it, it will just become a shapeless ball. I usually take this bread, so let's cut it. Basically put it, choose how you want it to be cut and easy. The machine cuts it, done. On the opposite, there is a section with chocolates. I usually don't buy chocolates. I only showed it to you to see the price. So coffee, tea, and we usually take these tortillas. Next, dry fruits, nuts, salty, unsalty, any type, <laughs> different type. I like to take pecans and these walnuts. Next, very important section of fruits and vegetables. Seriously, we try to eat many fruits and vegetables, especially when it's summer. And here the prices are shown per packs. For example, here it's around 750 grams, I think. This is also 125 grams and this is the price per piece, per one. Here is the price per, per kilo. 
and apples of different colors and prices. On the opposite, there is a huge section with different salad mixes with juices. For example, I love this tangerine juice, 100% tangerine juice. Try it if you haven't tried it yet. And then also some ready food. Uh, for example, try this piroshki gyoza, Japanese style, if you haven't tried. Here, ham, sausages, bacon. This is what we rarely take, but if we do, most likely we take this Frankfurt turkey. Green section, I try to take a lot, like and basil and some salad mixes and cilantro. Here, the prices are shown per bunch. By the way, when choosing potato, check what type do you buy, because there is a type which is more suitable for mashed potato. There is a type which is more suitable for salad because it's uh, not that soft as the one for mashed potato, for example. Here the pack is two and a half kilos, so the price is per pack. Here the price is shown per kilo. I continue walking through the vegetable section and I took broccoli, plan to make some broccoli creamy soup this day. Por, that's how they call it in Polish, price per kilo. This is also price per kilo. And try these tomatoes Malinowy, they are really good. The price is also per kilo, this time was really good price. After we moved to Warsaw, we were really surprised by the prices for turkey, because sometimes it is almost the same price as for chicken, because back in Belarus it was like super expensive. And here we used to take turkey all the time. I used to take grounded beef for Elias, she loves it. That day I also took some turkey and my must buy every single week is the liver, turkey liver. I cook it different ways and we all like it. Fish, I usually get the big one and the price is per 100 grams. Also I'm getting it every week. There are sections called Super Cena where you can see products for really good prices. Well, sometimes it's because the expiration date is closed. Or, for example, shelves called Super Ocasia, also with good prices. But let's check, what are the expiration date? I was in the store on June 11 and uh, see it expires on June 20. And this Dzatziki sauce expires on June 18. Yes, it seems that both products I checked, the expiration date is just about in a week. Cheese section and I like creamy cheeses, that time I bought Almeta one, the price is per pack. Also got marinated smoked salmon, the price is shown per 100 grams and the pack was around 200 grams. In the section of yogurts, do remember to find those macaron cookies, they are hiding somewhere there. Many yogurts and here they are, super good cookies, try if you haven't tried it yet, if you're a cookie lover. Milk section, different products made of milk and here I take sour cream, the price is per pack. In Polish language dumplings are called pierogi. So if you see dumplings with meat, pierogi z mięsem, pay attention because they don't really look like a regular dumplings. Me particularly, I really like those dumplings with meat, Polish style, because I don't know why, but to me it tastes like Asian dumplings, really good. But if you're looking for some classical dumplings, we found one. These are pretty classical ones, so just keep in mind. Also at Lidl they do have some shelves with very different products. They do have toys for kids, they do have puzzles, toys, clothes, socks, shorts, pants, and then shoes, and then shorts again. So basically really a lot. And then you go around and you look at this shelf, but from the other side, and you have a lot of items for gardening, you have knives and so on. So if you're looking for something from this section, check it out. Also milk here, I usually get one and also I get cream, 30% for creamy soup and eggs. While editing this video, I realized how serious my face looks while I'm making a video because usually in real life I'm always smiling. Okay, anyway, here are some canned products and the cucumbers, for example. Green beans, I took one as well. I also needed some rice. I usually take rice basmati. It's 400 grams pack. And of course, section with diapers, uh, shampoos, and I got some soap there, duff and kitchen towels. Once the shopping cart is full, I go to the cashier and yes, there are two types. 
the regular one where the person, the cashier is helping you and the self-service one. If you go to the self-service one, please pay attention that there are two types also for small items. Like if you have few items only, just go to the small one. And there is also XXL size. So if you have a lot of items, just go there and you can only pay by card there. And now very important, if you go to the self-service cashier, do remember to get the bill because you would need to scan it before exiting the store. And yeah, if you took a blue card, remember to put it on the place where all the blue cards are collected and do not take it out of the store. Seriously, like one time I arrived to the store, I did not have jeton and I did not have any coins. So I took this blue card, I shopped. Then I went to the regular cashier and the lady told me, sorry, you cannot take this blue card out. And I was like, I just want to take it to the parking. I will put all the items to, to my car and I will just return it back. And she's like, no, 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 no need. I will just give you a jeton and you can go get another shopping cart, which is allowed to be outside of the store. Basically, these are the products I usually buy every week and you will see how much did I spend for that. Four big bags and yes, let's see the bill. I put everything on the table for you to see, plus some meat that already in the fridge. And the final price is 463 Polish złotych. This is the average amount I spent every week. If you want to know how much money do we spend here in Warsaw a month, for example, what are the costs for living, please check out this video, do remember. And if you're still thinking of moving or not moving to Poland and you want to understand whether you will feel comfortable living in Poland or not, check out this video. I'm sure you will like it.